Hello and welcome to the UBL Garage. Today I'm going to show you the basics of wiring a Phoenix Typhoon siren. I have here both the handheld and full function siren. The first sports you'll have are your power and your ground. Really simple, that's where you put your power in the ground to power the system. Next you'll have your switch ports, you have one through six. These will correspond to the switch on the controller and power will be put through at 12 volts to power up any lights you may connect to these. The next is horn ring. You can connect this to your vehicle's horn to activate the Typhoon. After that, you have park kill. This can be connected to your vehicle so that when you put your vehicle in park, the siren will shut off. After that, you have broadcast on and radio in. These ports allow you to connect your Typhoon to a radio and broadcast over the speaker connected to the Typhoon what's being played through your radio. After that, you'll have two ports for your 100 watt speaker. Make sure you connect both of the wires from your speaker to this. If you're using a Triton, you'd connect the blue and the brown wire to these two ports right here. It doesn't matter which side is which, just make sure you connect both of them. Now on the side of the siren, you'll have an RJ45 port. This is where you'll connect either your full function control head or your handheld control head. On the handheld controller, you'll have a power button on the side. That will turn on the controller. The six buttons on the bottom are for your switches one through six. Those correspond to one through six on the port. Then up on top, you'll have the circle of buttons. Each one of these controls a different siren tone. It can be adjusted by activating it and then pressing the small button on the side. This allows you to scroll through all the tones that the Typhoon has. There's also a Phillips head knob that can adjust the volume. And lastly, this button is to activate your mic, which is located right up on the top left. Over on a full function, it's a very similar design. Your power button's right here. Your rotary knob will activate various different tones, which can also be programmed via a small button on top. And then you'll have a manual and a horn button. Then all the way to the right, your last six buttons control to switches one through six. So that's the basics of wiring your Phoenix Typhoon Siren. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.